it's another beautiful day in the beautiful city of Essen. And behind me, I have an awful lot of people interested in the games that are also behind me and that we are going to take a look at. Welcome to GMS Magazine at Spiel 2015. A lot more goodness coming from the Far East. This time we're going all the way into Taiwan and we are taking a look at the Taiwan board game design organization. And I'm, I'm talking with uh, Shmush here about Burano. Uh, the game that, I, I mean, it, it seriously looks stunning and very, very different. Uh, before we jump into the game though, tell me a little bit about your company and your organization. What kind of games do you guys make? Okay. Uh, hi, I'm Smooks from Taiwan, and actually TBD is not an official company yet. Uh, we are an organization that try to promote Taiwanese design and company designers uh, as, as hard as possible. Mm -hmm. So this year uh, we bring six uh, small publishers and designers to SN and everybody has their own tables to demo their games and try their best to do their game uh, in the most excellent way. Mm -hmm. And we just hand, handle all the administration and pre-order or sales and whatever interview and whatever we can help the designer to promote their games. Yeah. And you're promoting one of the games you're promoting right now, Burano, which as I was saying earlier, it looks it's superb, absolutely superb, with some absolutely amazing components. Tell me a little bit about the game. What is it all about? Okay, uh, Burano is designed by Eros Lin and his girlfriend Yu Zhen. And so this game is, Burano is an island in Italy and famous for shipping and less work, less, less, make, less making. And that's what they told me. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, in this game, you are a leader of a family in Burano and you try to send your workers to the islands, to the, the men go ship fishing and the woman will be sent into the lace workshop and you try in different ways to score points the high score of, of course wins the game and the, the most uh, special part of the game is the cube pyramid that's the core mechanism that drives the game you can see there are six different colors of cubes stacked into a pyramid and in your turn you can use the cube to build a house on the island of Burano and each color of the cube will also activate different minor actions like shipping or less less making or get some money for your income. Yeah, so it's the basic, um, uh, it's quite a novel me mechanism that the cube pyramid drive the game with different colors of actions, yeah. How long does the game play? Uh, usually for 90, to 120 minutes. Yeah. So it's, it's a fairly, it's a longish kind of game. How complex are the rules? How complex? Uh, I think it's quite complicated because because there are uh, uh, the cubes you have to plan ahead for your actions and each color will correspond to uh, different actions. And you, you also have a personal board with a special wheel you can see here. And the wheel has also different colors here. Mm -hmm. And these three arrows will indicate which, which three color is most beneficial to you. So when you trying to plan your action, you also have to think which place is good for your corresponding colors to maximize your uh, victory points or your money income, something like that. Yeah. In terms of uh, competition within the game, is there much player interaction? Yes, I, I would say so, because uh, there are four neighboring islands around Burano. Mm -hmm. When you send out your men to do the fishing, and you can get the fish car, which can be traded for victory points. Mm -hmm. And there's also uh, some area majority control bonus in the end of each uh, season. So 
you want to have the most workers on this island. If you do, you will get some extra bonus points. Also in the last workshop, when you send your workers here, less, sometimes the other players can kick your workers away. Mm -hmm. So there will be quite direct interaction in the game, I would say. So I think the interaction is quite... Uh, also one more in interaction is that I haven't e explained uh, uh, much about this. Uh, when you build house here, you can also build a roof. Okay. So you'll see the city of Brano growing higher and higher and with colorful houses during the game. And when you build a, build a roof, you get some bonus and you have to match the color. Okay. So when you build a roof, you have to, you have to be, be careful what, others, what other players have in their player ball in case they uh, take the first step and get the roof down before you. How does the scoring mechanism work? Okay, uh, you can score in uh, multiple ways. Uh, the first is, like I say, majority control. And the other is that you can use this, your workers in the last workshop, in the end of each season. If I have a work, worker in the orange workshop, I can return one orange cube. That will give me some victory points. Yeah. And also I can use my fish car. When I go fishing, I can get some fish car here. There are a, a, a total of six different types of fish, and I can trade them for some victory point in the merchant ship. And if you have uh, three of the same or four of the same, you get uh, a lot of victory points. Okay. Also, when you build the roof, you can get some special building cars. And these special building cars also give you some uh, victory point or some special ability during the game. So there are a lot of ways to get scores or so multi strategy. I can see there are some uh, ships, maple ships, yes. on the board. Yes. How, how do they play? Okay, when you use the action cube, build the house, you will trigger three minor actions. The first one is shipping, and then the second one is less working, and you can get income. So the shipping, the shipping action said, I build a yellow or green, I build a, a yellow cubes onto the island, I can activate the shipping action. So I can move my ship along the sailing line here. And there are three fishing huts here. And there are three, three, maybe three different colors. And these three different colors has to be matched by my arrows here. Okay. So there's green, orange, and white. Mm -hmm. If I have, say, orange, white, but not green, I match two. So I can get two of the fish car. Okay. So fishing is when you move your uh, boat around the islands, you can get some fishing car and trade it for victory point. Mm -hmm. Yes. The game looks, from the production point of view, very comprehensive with an awful lot of everything. How, how long did it take to create the game? That's the most amazing part for me. <laughs> Because I know these two, this couple of designer very well, and we're, they, this, this, the, I, the, the game idea is uh, built on top of this cube pyramid, mm -hmm. and they expand it uh, to a real, real uh, core mechanism and interconnect together in about six to eight months. Okay. Yes. So they work very hard and play test very hard, and they are a small company but with a lot of gamers helping, helping them for the playtest. So it, it's also amazed me that they can do it because in the, first, in the beginning I thought, okay, you, it's, it looked good in the prototype and I suggest that maybe you can try to uh, publish and bring it to Essen next year. Yeah. But it surprised me that they make it this year and it looks amazingly well done. <laughs> that, is, that is incredibly, incredibly impressive. Yeah, yeah. Now, of course, the game is available for purchase here at Spiel. Yes. Once the show is over, where can people buy this game? Okay, that's uh, the, the problem is that uh, we are sold out in Spiel now, and the first print run of 1,500 copies in Taiwan are also sold out. So we are here to try to find publishers or distributors, and maybe the next print run will be at early next year, but we are not sure. Yeah. Well, fingers crossed indeed, and 
now you can start saving uh, for Burano because it, yeah, I think it looks absolutely tremendous. And I, I love how yeah, the mechanics of building it works really, really nicely. So many congratulations. That sounds looks Thank very you. good. Thank you. Excellent. Thank you.